would like to request uh, the President ICI, C.A.K. Raghu, to kindly accord him a floral welcome and extend good wishes on behalf of everyone present here. And uh, may I now request uh, President ICAI, C.A.K. Raghu, to kindly introduce our honorable guest speaker. And before you, as the 62nd President of the Institute of Chartered Accounts of India, on this happy occasion, I extend my greetings to all of you on this special day, on the completion of 65 years of our existence. So friends, on behalf of all the council members present here, I'm extremely thankful to all of you for having joined us on this celebration. And we are celebrating Chartered Accountants Day across the country, 147 branches. 22 foreign chapters and five regional councils are celebrating Chartered Accountants Day, and it's a special day for all of us, and we are stepping into the 66th year. On this occasion, we have the gracious presence of Mr. Warren Allen, the president of the International Federation of Accountants. Friends, as you're all aware, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India is one of the founder members of IFAC, and IFAC is the global organization for the accountancy profession dedicated to serving the public interest by strengthening the profession and contributing to the development of strong international economies. We're extremely privileged to have Mr. Warren here we have an IFAC president coming to India for about four years, and we are very happy to have his presence. And yesterday, he was with us in the institute. He participated in many activities. We had a meeting with all the regulators here. And I can say Mr. Warren is one of the finest persons I've come across, contributed a lot to IFAC. And he became the president of IFAC in November 2012 after serving as a deputy president for two years. And he was served as a member of the IFAC board in two, from 2006. He was also on the Education Committee, now the International Accounting Education Standards Board, for more than 10 years, including its chair from 98 to 2004. He's from New Zealand. He has held several other leadership positions in the New Zealand Institute of Chartered Accounts of India, including the National Leader of Audit Practice and Country Director of Audit of a leading multinational accounting firm. He's also a life member and past president of the New Zealand Institute of Chartered Accounts of India, and he has been the recipient of several awards, including the Valued Contribution to the Professional Award in 2001. Friends, he is the author of numerous journal articles, papers, and presented several papers, and he's hosting the fourth International World Congress at Rome in the month of November, and I'm sure it'll be a great uh, opportunity for us to listen to Warren, and I would like to inform Mr. Warren that the Institute of Chartered Accounts of India is the second largest accounting body in the world, and we are putting in our best efforts to see that our profession is recognized globally. Today, the institute is present in around 23 countries. We have 23 chapters, and our professionals, Indian chartered accountants, are in great demand around the world. We at the institute are putting our best efforts. We have worked on various mutual recognition agreements with various countries. We have seen to it that we have launched various global career kits so that young CAs are able to take up global careers. And we are putting our best foot forward to see how best our professionals can excel globally. Today is an era where young professionals want to explore the world. And in this direction, we're putting our best effort. And I'm very confident way forward, we'll have a lot more opportunities. And recently, the council has also decided to set up two new chapters, one in Vancouver and the other one in Bangkok. And I'm sure all the 25 chapters of the institute would contribute to the growth and development of the profession, not only in India, but around the world. With these introductory remarks, I would request Mr. Warren Allen to make his presentation. Definitely make it a point to come. He called his secretary and asked the secretary to make a note of it, and he is here with us in spite of a power pack meeting. <laughs> Sir, 
the institute of chartered accounts of india is the second largest accounting body in the world today we have more than 2 lakh 25000 chartered accountants and our profession is one of the most popular profession today we have 8 lakh 40000 students pursuing the chartered accountancy course one of the reasons why our profession is very popular sir is because there's plenty of opportunities for chartered accountants in india india is a happening economy and we find that chartered accountants are in great demand not only in traditional sectors like banking financial services and manufacturing even in the new generation sectors like the it its telecom infrastructure and retail there is a huge demand of chartered accountants and in the campus interviews conducted by the institute in about 17 locations the average pay package for a young ca is rupees 70000 rupees per month this is something a very good uh, for all of us for the young professionals so also the lot of opportunities for our indian cas abroad we have more than 25 chapters around the world and chartered accountants from india are in great demand you go to a country like dubai abu dhabi go to singapore go to australia go to canada you find a whole lot of indian cas doing extremely well and we are very happy that this profession is being recognized around the world sir having said this another important reason why our profession is popular is that it's an affordable profession we have many instances of students coming from simple families humble families are able to take up this course and the cost of completing this course is less than 25000 rupees i would like to draw your attention we had a girl prema jay kumar daughter of an auto rickshaw driver from mumbai who got the first rank in ca final we have many such success stories of young students joining the profession becoming chartered accountants getting into good jobs and they're able to bring about a transformation in their lives on this happy occasion sir i wish you all the best as the new finance minister of this country the india as i said is doing extremely well a lot of expectations from the public at large we have a new government a new prime minister and we are very confident that all of us here as a profession are looking forward for a resurgent india sir we would just like to tell you sir as a profession we are there completely support to support you to kick start the economy lot of concerns i'm sure you'll be addressing them taming the inflation reducing the current account deficit attracting more foreign direct investments and i could assure you on behalf of the entire profession of 225000 chartered accountants we are there 24 bar 7 to support the new government in all its new initiatives Mr Warren Allen the president of the International Federation of Accountants was here yesterday and we had the opportunity of meeting the CNDG and the uh, other regulators the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and one thing that came up uh, to Mr War Warren Allen's mind was that our country our government should switch over to accrual system of accounting the institute has been working on many pilot studies we are working with the postal department we are working with the ministry of railways and it is our desire to see that the government department switch over to the accrual system of accounting even countries like africa have gone ahead and adopted accrual system of accounting for the government departments and i feel the new government should take a bold step to see that accrual system of accounting is introduced in all the government departments so that the government is able to understand what are the total assets that is being held by the governments the entire liabilities everything is be able to map under the accrual system of accounting another important thing sir we would request you to see that to make india a investor friendly country today what is happening is that a lot of provisions of the new companies act that are quite stringent and it is absolutely essential for us to keep in mind that it is absolutely essential to see that india becomes an investor friendly country the institute is doing its regulatory job to perfection we have a very robust disciplinary mechanism we have a very strong examination system that is appreciated world over we have a very good peer review system to improve the quality of professional work of our members we have a financial reporting review board with reviews of financial statements of top corporates on our own and we have a strong ethical code that binds all the members together we have an excellent relationship with all the regulators the reserve bank of india the securities exchange board of india and the insurance regulatory development authority of india in addition to the ministry of finance and corporate affairs this year sir we have taken many initiatives one of the big bang initiative which we decided was to set up reading halls across the country i am extremely happy to inform you sir that we have set up 90 reading halls across the country to students to pursue the chartered accountancy course this is one initiative which we feel would help the students to come to the institute and prepare similarly we have set up information technology labs across the country to provide technology training to our students so that they are able to equip the challenges that is facing them in a technological area sir today under your august ants we'll be launching the cloud campus 
Cloud Campus would be the next generation interactive learning system for the CA student fraternity. And I'm sure this Cloud Campus, once it's launched by you, will have a lot of features like the audio lectures, the video lectures, e-learning courses, video, uh, the webcast, online mentoring, e-diary for the entire student community would be available online and students can sit at the comfort of their homes and access the online resources of the institute. I'm sure this Cloud Campus initiative would be a great initiative, first of its kind in India, started by any professional organization, and I'm sure this will be immensely benefited, uh, would be of great help to all the young uh, students. We're also working with the Ministry of Corporate Affairs in conducting Investor Awareness Program. Last year, we conducted 1,500 Investor Awareness Program, and this year, we've taken a mandate to conduct 2,500 Awareness Programs, and in the next 100 days, which the government has drawn up, we have committed to conduct 500 Investor Awareness Programs. That is our commitment, which we'd like to showcase to you, sir, and we would definitely work with you very closely <laughs> and see how best we can work with all your financial inclusion programs also. Chartered Accountants Benevolent Fund is one initiative which have always been working very hard and I'm happy to inform all the members that we help our members in distress. One of our, one of our members from Bangalore, Mr. Mohandas Spy, has announced a contribution of rupees 1 crore to the CA Benevolent Fund to help the members in distress. This year, we have started two new initiatives, helping the women members and young members. Today, 48,000 of our membership are women members. They have challenges, they have commitments at home. So we decided we should encourage the young, young women members not to disengage from the profession. We launched a flexi working portal that has been a big success. More than 1,500 women CAs have registered. And we have made a request to all the corporates around the country, all the CA firms to look at appointing chartered accountant women on a flexi basis. To conclude, sir, we have few concerns. One is on the bank branch audit. Our only request as an audit regulator is that all the bank branches in the country should be subjected to audit. Currently, a certain segment of branches are not subjected to audit, and we have made a representation to the Reserve Bank of India. We've also met the governor, Mr. Raghuram Ranjan. We have said why there's a need for a very robust audit mechanism. This is one area which we would like you to please uh, look into it, and we, we would definitely give our representation to you personally. As far as the Companies Act is concerned, a few concerns that are there, a lot of responsibilities on independent directors and audit committees, so adequate safeguards have to be built into the new Companies Act. The Ministry of Corporate Affairs is extremely proactive. We have been in touch with them regularly. They are looking to all our concerns. And what is very important is that, sir, we need to see that the corporates are having the ease of doing business in India today. What is happening is today, companies have various options to go to various countries. And if we are looking at India as a happening country, we need to create the right kind of environment. The cost of compliance in India is also very high for the new companies coming in. This is something which we need to keep in mind. And the fraud reporting provisions that has been brought in by the new Companies Act, a lot of challenges for the companies coming into India. There needs to be a relook, and I'm sure under your dynamic leadership, the finance ministry would look into all our concerns. We at the Institute, sir, are committed to the growth agenda of the new government. We are very confident under the dynamic leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and your stewardship as the Minister of Finance, we can see a resurgent India. We will commit to ensure good governance, reform, ease of doing business, financial discipline, and economic growth. And we can also say that we are also committed to your vision of simplifying and rationalizing the tax regime in India. The Indian accountancy profession today, on the occasion of the 66th Chartered Accountants Day, commits itself to the growth agenda of the new government, and we will continue to contribute to a vibrant Indian economy. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.